Good morning, Lord Hill. I'm so pleased to hear an English voice in a senior position, which is so rare in most this building. On your appointment as a member of the House of Lords, oh well, you know, I kind of enjoy this really. On your appointment as a member of the House of Lords, you swore an oath to the Queen that you would be faithful and owe allegiance to Her Majesty. If your appointment is confirmed, you will now be required to swear an oath to the EU in the following terms, to be completely independent in carrying out your responsibilities in the general interests of the Union, neither to seek nor to take instructions from any government or from any institution, body, office or entity. Surely this is a conflict to your two oaths. In the words of Matthew 6, verse 24 of the King James Bible, no man can serve two masters. So what is it, Lord Hill? Which one is your master now, the Queen or the EU? <laughs> Um, I have to say, in my last job, one of the great honours and privileges of my last job as a Privy Councillor and as Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster was to have the opportunity to meet Her Majesty the Queen. Uh, and um, that was one of the greatest privileges in my life. I do not believe for one instant that Her Majesty would consider there was a conflict between the oath I gave to her and the oath that I hope I will have the opportunity to uh, give if I'm confirmed as commissioner. I see no conflict between the two whatsoever. Thank you.